Hey, what's up YouTube? Brian Fajoli here. And in front of me I have a new headset by Jabra. This is the Evolve 285. So when the pandemic started, uh, they had reached out to me and they were like, oh, we got this cool headset that people working from home might be interested in. So I was like, uh, they were like, do you want to check it out? And I'm like, yeah, I'll check that out. That sounds cool. Jabra makes great gear. And um, yeah, people are working from home and they need to use like headsets for things like Zoom calls or if they're in a call center working from home, they might be taking calls. Um, so they sent me this and I, I Googled it just to like get an idea of price. And what if I told you the price of this is $500? Yes, I see this being sold for 500 bucks. So this is like the Rolls Royce of headsets, apparently. I don't know what really makes it 500 bucks. I wanted to unbox this and look at this kind of going into it blindly, essentially, um, without doing too much research on it. So let's go ahead and take a look. So again, this is the Evolve 285. It has active noise cancellation, awesome. 10 microphone technology, that's pretty cool, and up to 37 hours of wireless battery life. So this is a wireless headset. On the side of the box, we have more information. So it says it has 40 millimeter speakers for immersive music, uh, busy light visible from all angles, and works with all leading UC platforms. A busy light is really good because if you're working in a call center, um, sometimes like people will walk, like walk up to you and start like talking to you, not realizing you're on the phone. So it's nice to have the light on that shows people like if they, as soon as they come up to you, they'll see like a light is on on your headset. They shouldn't bother you. They probably still will bother you, but um, they shouldn't. Uh, let's see. So on the back here, we see some information. Uh, we've been bringing sound to people's lives for over 150 years from the very first telegraph cables linking the west to the east to the very first Bluetooth headsets. We're in the business of helping you hear what you want to hear, but our products do more than just sound good. They're the result of thousands of hours of research and meticulous engineering. Uh, from the only company in the world with consumer, professional, and medical grade sound all under one roof. Nice. Designed and engineered with you in mind, built with intelligent technology, and finished with premium materials for maximum comfort. Hmm. Great sound isn't the only reason you love this headset, but it's a good place to start. Thoughtfully designed, purposely engineered, and expertly built. And on the bottom it says here that it is designed and engineered in Copenhagen. That's interesting. On the other side of the box, we just see superior sound for 150 years. So I think it's time to open this up. So I think this just kind of pulls up. This comes off the top. And then we're presented with this information here. So it says download. Download the free Jabra Sound app or Java Direct software to personalize your calls and music experience. So yes, this isn't just for taking calls. This can also be used for listening to music, of course. At $500, I would hope so. Uh, personalize, uh, let's see, update your headset with the latest features. So maybe there's like firmware updates and you can register your, your product to get 20% off your next Java purchase. Nice. So it looks like it opens from this angle here. Okay. Inside we have the headset and it comes in this really nice case. You can tell it's a really quality, I want to say leather. I don't know if it's like a fake leather, but it feels, it feels like a real leather. It's really, really nice. It feels like high quality. We have warning and declarations, corded and wireless for Europe and the Middle East. Well, I'm not in the Middle East. I'm in the United States, so. Um, but we have a bunch of different languages here for warning and declarations. I will not read that. Uh, what else? Inside the box here, we have some more writing. So we have the box is, wow, the box is thoughtfully crafted with 100% recyclable materials and, stable, and sustainable water-based ink. It's actually a really nice box, I have to say. It is nice. Um, we also have here, we have a diagram of the headphones themselves, or the headset, I should say. Um, wow. I'm not going to read everything there, but if you want to pause the video and just take a look at it, it's very detailed, showing all the information there. Uh, it has a USB-C charge port. I can see that. That's awesome. Um, the busy light is awesome. Busy light on both sides, which is good because people could walk up from either side of you. Nice. So let's go ahead and open this up and like take a look. So the leather or leather-ish carrying case has the Jabra logo on it. 
It has a little like carry strap and then it is a zipper. Open this up. This is really exciting. $500 headset. Whoa. Okay. So we have a silica gel packet, which don't let your dog eat this. That's dangerous. So I have a little chihuahua. I'm going to make sure she doesn't eat this. I'm going to just put this to the side and make sure that goes right in the garbage. We have a USB-C to A cable, it looks like. And it's a nice cable. USB type A, USB type C. And I always check the cables to see if there's a seam on the USB-C and there's not. So this is a up to spec cable, at least visually. Uh, this would be used to charge your headset. Besides the headset, we also have this dongle here, which is like a, um, I guess if you have a headphone and microphone port on your computer that are next to each other, you can, you can combine them into a single uh, 3.5 millimeter port for both mic and headphone. Um, some computers do have that where it's separated. Uh, but what else do we have here? Let's see. We also have, oh, I was going to say there's no 3.5 millimeter cable. There is. So if you want to use this as a wired headset, you can. We have a 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter cable. Um, I would say it's about, I'm going to guess about four feet. Uh, about four feet in length, which should be fine for sitting at a desk for someone who's doing work or listening to music. You could, of course, use this for, um, uh, if, you're, if you're not sitting at a desk, let's say you're just um, walking down the street, you could use that as well. So this is a really nice carry case, and what is this? This comes out, it's a Velcro. I guess you can just take that out to maybe to clean it or something, but it does divide and, and keep everything nice. So I'm gonna put that to the side, and let's look at the actual headset now. So the headset, wow, this is, <laughs> this is really, I can actually tell it's quality just from like first touching it. So. The ear pads are really soft and comfortable. I, again, I don't know that this is leather or not, but I want to say that it is. Um, we have a pull tab here. Pull that off. I think that's just like protective plastic. We'll put that to the side. Also here we have this pull tab. And we'll pull and we'll peel. And now we have, oh, and now we have more tape. I see another peel here. Okay, and the tape has like, this is, now this is kind of weird because like the, they put on on the tape, if you can see here, like it shows plus and minus, I guess for like the volume and, but, but it's not on here. So like it's a, it's a piece of tape that shows you like what the buttons do, which the guide also does, but it's weird that they, if they really want you to know the plus and minus for volume, they should just print it right on the, right on the headset itself, but okay. So, wow, this is really nice. So, all right, so on the bottom here, we have a USB type C port for charging. That might also, be, I don't know if you would need that for firmware updates or it can be done over Bluetooth, uh, but we have a 3.5 millimeter audio port there, which this should plug into. Yep, so this would turn it into a wired headset. We have, also here, a, what is that, the Bluetooth logo? This looks like the pairing button, maybe? Boom, so if I bring that over, let's see. And then there's a switch here, is that power? If I hold that down, oh no, this is power. I haven't read the manual or anything, and then over here, we have another button, which might be the noise cancellation. This looks like it opens up. Is this the microphone? Oh yeah, the microphone. This is actually really nice, so okay. So the microphone just pulls down right here. Bam. So if you did want to use these, like, let's say you wanted to use these when you're taking business calls, you have the microphone. You can use these for gaming, you can use these for anything. Um, but let's say now you want to go listen to music um, on the train or in the lunchroom or in the break room or something. You can just close that up and you really can't even tell that they're not just regular headphones. It's really nice. There is a button here um, on the, I think that's a button. Yeah, it is a button. So let's take a look at the box again. If I can, let's see. So on the box, it just kind of gives a description of things. So we have the 3.5 millimeter jack. We have the USB-C call. There's a status LED, uh, power on, 
or off slash pairing. So it does both. So let's see, how do I get this? To, so this switch, let's see, and on this side, we have, uh, let's see, answer a call button. So you can answer end a call. Um, volume up and down and right and left uh, for, for forward and back. So to turn this on though, we would have, I guess, do you hold this down? Oh, there we go. So you hold that down to the Bluetooth and now it's in pairing mode. It's really, really cool and I believe, I don't know if maybe like the five, this might not be the $500 model because I thought I saw online that it's supposed to come with like um, a charger. Like this can just go like on a charging dock, but maybe the dock is sold separately. I kind of thought that was included at $500, um, but there's no, there's no charger in the box other than just the USB-C to A cable. Uh, let me go ahead and just put this on my ears real quick and see how it feels. So I'll tell you right now, I have to adjust this because my head is big. So you just pull these down to adjust. There's no ratcheting mechanism. It's just like a loose thing. And it is making noise to connect to Bluetooth. Oh, it's very, very nice. These are nice headphones. So it wants me to select the Jabra headphones on my phone to pair this. Um, you could of course pair this with like a Windows computer as well if you wanna use these with Windows. Um, really, really nice, nice and comfortable. The head, the headband is nice. The ear, the ear pads are nice and comfortable. Um, you have the controls. I really like the microphone; it just kind of pulls down. Uh, I do worry that it, it's not flimsy, but I worry that like you could, if you kind of like drop these, this microphone could potentially break. It's not like uh, it's it's a hard, rigid plastic. Like if you hit this hard enough, it probably could break. It's not something like bendable. Um, I have here actually. This is what I normally use, is a HyperX um, wireless headset. And you can see here, this is a flexible mic. You can flex it, you can turn it. Um, you could actually just pull it off if you don't want to have a microphone. So rather than like fold up. Um, so I don't know which approach I like better. I mean, with this, you take off the microphone and now like you have to put this in your pocket or something. I do like that this folds in um, to make it look like just regular headphones, but at the same time, um, it does worry me a little bit that it's so rigid. I do like that they fold out to the sides like this, um, because sometimes I do like to have just one headphone on, and maybe like I want to have one to the side, or, you know, it's nice, and it, and it makes it easy to put back into the case. As you can see, like these HyperX ones, these are great as well, um, but they don't fold like that. Um, and the wire here is like exposed and with these everything is nice. Um, the, these I would highly recommend of course, but um, this is more for like, I would think maybe like executives. Um, I can't imagine a call center buying such an expensive headset for like call, uh, call um, representatives, like CSRs. I don't see like a four or $500 headset being bought for them. It just doesn't make sense. So maybe this would be more for like an executive who wants a really high end headset. Um, this kind of turns to the side, you can see here. So if you did try to close this, it does, you can see here, there's actually, so it folds in, right, it folds out. Then if you want to turn it towards your mouth, you can turn it this way here. So it's kind of like a double hinge. And I do worry about how, um, how that will last. Because if you do, like, let's say you actually forgot and you try to fold it up here, it does try to go back into the way it should but you're putting a lot of pressure on that little hinge there. Um, so just keep that in mind as well. And yes, you can charge these on a dock, but the dock doesn't appear to come in the box. I guess that's a separate purchase. Uh, but if you have any questions about these headphones, or head, the headset, I should say, I'm gonna go ahead and give these a go right now. Uh, again, these are the Evolve, 80, Evolve 285s from Jabra. Um, expensive, high-end headset with a 10 microphone technology, up to 37 hours of wireless battery life, um, USB type C, uh, it has everything you would want, uh, except of course the price is very high. Um, so I'm kind of curious who this is designed for, uh, but we'll see. 
All right, folks, thank you so much for watching my video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, I'll put a link of where to buy this in the description. All right, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.